Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a comprehensive look at the Wooting 60 HE+. This board features innovative Hall Effect technology that promises to revolutionize the gaming experience. I haven't used Hall Effect switches before, so I was interested in how they differed from mechanical ones. Esports pros and gaming enthusiasts have talked highly of this board in particular, so it got me really excited to try it out for myself. Full disclosure, Wooting did send me this board for this review, but as always, all opinions will be my own. Any relevant links will be in the description, and remember to subscribe to help support the channel. Now let's get started with the review. This board features an all-black design with your expected gamer RGB lighting. I would say it looks pretty generic, if not for the included strap, which is obviously not practical and completely aesthetic. If you're not sold on the look, it's possible to rip out the internals and replace the case completely. And I'm planning on making my own custom case for this board in the future. You can even buy the internals separately if you're planning on doing this from the start. The initial typing experience for me didn't give me a great impression, but my opinions have since warmed up to it. The Hall Effect switches offer a very soft bottom out, deviating from the more tactile feedback found in traditional mechanical keyboards. This comes from the fact that the switches basically have no bottom. As you can see, the switches function by varying the distance of this exposed magnet. The keyboard detects the magnetic field's presence and movement, providing a highly precise measurement of key travel distance. This translates to a significant advantage, the ability to register a wider range of values beyond simply on or off. But back to the typing experience. I would describe the feeling as mushy, which isn't a great word. They give me a similar feel and sound to those mute switches that have silicone dampening. Of course, remember, everything is about preference and this could be something that you're actually looking for. The acoustics give a deep muted sound and the stabilizers come pre-lubricated, which is great to see. Let's listen to the sound test. To get the full experience of the Wooting 60 HE+, you want to interact with its dedicated configuration software, Wootility. This browser-based platform eliminates the need for downloads and offers a user-friendly interface for extensive customization. You can tailor the per-key RGB lighting to your preferences with all of your expected effects available. However, the true depth lies within the Performance tab. The Hall Effect technology allows for granular control over the actuation point. This parameter determines how far a key needs to be pressed to register. You can set an incredibly low actuation point for lightning fast responsiveness in competitive games. However, keep in mind that a lower actuation point increases the likelihood of accidental key presses. Therefore, finding the optimal balance between speed and accuracy is crucial. There is also Rapid Trigger, which further optimizes key registration speed by dynamically changing the actuation and reset point of the switch. In other words, when you're pressing down, the switch is active, and when you're lifting it up, it resets. Turn this on for extra snappy movement in-game. Finally, Tachyon Mode pushes the boundaries of speed by prioritizing input performance, albeit at the cost of some RGB functionality and analog stability. If you want the absolute fastest inputs possible, turn this feature on. Gaming is where this board shines the most. I tested it in a few different games to get a broader experience. I used the lowest 0.1mm actuation with Rapid Trigger and Tachyon Mode on. And the board feels really good in game. While playing League, I felt that little extra responsiveness thanks to the near instant actuation. The problems I had with the typing experience were not noticeable anymore. This is because instead of tactile feedback from typing feel, you get visual and audio feedback from the game instead. This makes you feel more connected to the game because it's more responsive than a standard mechanical keyboard. This is even more noticeable when it comes to first person games. Even though it's a bit silly, the movement in Minecraft felt good. I don't really want to oversell it too much though. It's not going to instantly make you a better gamer, and depending on the game you're playing, your experience may vary. 
but for me that little extra responsiveness made playing games more enjoyable and that's all that really matters. Lastly, I tried out the new Deadlock game and this is where things fell apart a little bit. I literally opened the game for the first time to record this and booted up a bot match. Because I wasn't familiar with the controls, I was misclicking left and right. All my inputs were not confident at all, and that combined with the high sensitivity just made a mess of all the buttons. That really is not the keyboard's fault, but it's a good learning experience. If you're playing a game that you're familiar with, then this board will just make it feel better to play. If you're learning a new game, one slight tap of a wrong key can completely throw you off. In that case, it's probably a good idea to increase that actuation point. If you're getting this board, you're not getting it intending on it being a productivity powerhouse, and it definitely is not. The first thing you'll probably notice in your daily use is the lack of delete and arrow keys. Sure, you can still access them through function layers, but I think it's just annoying to get used to. Really, that's just a preference thing, and I understand not everyone is going to care about that. I just think that it made doing things like browsing the web, writing this script, and editing this video a little less convenient. Wooting does have the larger Wooting 2 and Wooting 80 if you prefer to have all your keys. At this point, I got used to the typing feel, so I think there was just an adjustment period for me. I might have been too picky about the softness at first, and it's definitely something you'll get used to. Typing with the rapid profile on is really terrible, so you're going to want to use the Fn plus Enter shortcut to switch back to typing mode. And you can configure the RGB and Wootility to make it more obvious which mode you're in. Overall, the Wooting 60 HE Plus is a fantastic gaming keyboard. The small size maximizes desk space, which is great if you have a large mouse pad. The configuration software is easy to use and allows you to make full use of the Hall Effect technology. Because it's a 60%, you're not going to have access to all of your standard keys, but there are larger options available to satisfy those needs. In-game, the responsiveness of the board feels great to use, and I would like to see how the Hall Effect switches evolve because I think there's still room for improvement. You can hot swap them out, and in a future video, I'll try some new switches and design a completely custom case for this board. If that sounds interesting to you, remember to subscribe so you're notified when that comes out. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.